ST is continually expanding its development ecosystem, always with the aim of helping customers reduce development time and therefore speed up time to market. Tian Maile has joined me to talk about a new tool. It's the STM32 Cube Monitor. So what are the product headlines, Tian? Thank you, Chris. So STM32 Cube Monitor is a generic monitoring uh, tool for customers applications, okay? It allows users to create a custom monitor window and accurately and seamlessly monitor the final application. Okay. So all this by using a, a si simple debug probe on our STM32. So how does it fit into the existing STM32 Cube ecosystem? Okay, so every, every project when we start uh, thinking about it consists of let's say four steps during the, the final development. Okay. We, st we have to start with some initial code generation. Okay. Uh, this is bringing STM32 Cube MX. Okay, we have to do some code development today. From ST, we uh, we offer STM32 Cube ID Development Studio. Okay, uh, later we need to do some programming of the microcontroller, so either flashing. So this is uh, uh, bringing with STM32 Cube Programmer, and last but not least, today we are we are here with STM32 Cube Monitor, which is allowing us long-term validation and verification of the final application to make sure that uh, it is stable to release it final application on the market. So what are some of the details and, and how it works? Okay, so yes, here we, here we have a demonstration. Okay, so we have a STM32 uh, nucleo board, okay, and specifically STM32 G4. Okay, uh, on, on the board we have uh, our hardware debugger, ST-Link, and ST-Link is using SWD or JTAG interface to fetch the data. And Cube Monitor, so in, in Cube Monitor, we have uh, imported the, let's say, the binary file from a uh, compiler. So when you program the code, you have to compile it. And you can uh, very easily, with two clicks, uh, import the file to the Cube Monitor, okay? And you see a list of all the av variables available in the program. So whatever you have typed, you see on a list. You can pick whatever variable you want to monitor, so, and the, the tool will fetch using our SWD interface uh, via ST-Link the, the data. Okay, and displayed on a screen. So we allow different, so we have uh, plots, gauges, uh, sliders, all these kind of things to, to visually, visually show the data. And it's mirrored there, yeah? Yes, so this is, uh, this is a capability to do the, also the remote monitoring. So if your application is somewhere in the basement or in the office, you can still take a look uh, from home, from another PC, from phone, from uh, second floor, or these kind of things. Uh, what is happening with your application While you're having in your lunch? <laughs> or in, during the lunch, yes, also possible. Okay, Tina, let's have a look at a more detailed product demo tutorial. Yes, we will now, uh, so we have prepared a tutorial uh, to, to show how you actually use and how you, you can create your own monitor for really tailoring your application needs. Tilan, thank you so much. Fantastic. Thank you, Chris.